The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, second canto, third chapter, text number 19, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 14th of June, 1972, in Los Angeles, California. So, swa, swa means dog, and bid, bid baraha. There are two kinds of hogs. One is that we see generally in towns and villages. That is baraha. Baraha means hogs. And they eat a stool, bir baraha. Another, a jungle baraha. They have got a, a big, what is called? Tusk, yes. That is more dangerous. They live in the jungle. And bir baraha means they live in the village, finding out where is stool, where is stool, where is stool. Shavir Braha Ustra. Ustra means camel. And Khara means ass. So here it is a very terse remark that anyone who has never heard the glories of Gadagaja, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, in other words, one who is not Krishna conscious, does not know anything about Krishna or God, they are no better than these animals, especially. Dog, hog, ass, camel. Why these four kinds of animals have been selected to compare? That is explained. Shaw means dog. A dog, however powerful it may be, very strong, stout, and it, unless it, it has got a master, its life is very precarious. Dog. Just see, our education at the present moment very advanced education. Many Indian students come here also to take advanced education. But actually if we consider this education creating dogs, why? Because have a technologist you may be, if you don't get a suitable service, all your education is finished. Therefore, after education, you will have to write application. My dear sir, I am such and such qualified dog. <laughs> if you will kindly give me some service, and they tell is like this. <laughs> Just imagine. If by education he becomes independent, just like Vedic culture, the Brahmins, the Kshatriyas, the Vaishyas, they are independent. The Shudras are compared with the dogs because they cannot live without a master. Brahmin, he will not accept anyone's service. That is the real Brahmin. A Kshatriya will never accept anyone's service. And why the battle of Kurukshatra was there? They the Kurus, they took away the whole kingdom of the Pandavas, but they are Kshatriyas, how they will live. Therefore the fight was necessary. The Kshatriyas must be, must have some land to collect taxes. That is the Kshatriyas' source of income, the Brahmin's source of income. 
Patan, Patan, Jajan, Jajan. They must be learned scholar. They must teach others. They must be devotee and teach others how to become devotee. They must take contribution and must spend for Krishna. This is Brahmin. No service. Born my leg. No Brahmin service. Sanatam Goswami, Rupa Goswami, they were, they were born in high class Brahmin family, Sarasat Brahmin. But because they accepted the service of Nawab Hussain Shah, immediately they were rejected from Brahmin society. It is by the grace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that they again became Goswamis. Otherwise, they were rejected. No Brahmin could take service, and especially service of a low class man. That is, in Bhagavata, you will see, especially that if a Brahmin is in difficulty, he may accept the profession of a Chatriya or utmost of a Vaishya but never take the profession of a śūdra. What is the profession of śūdra? Śūdra means parichajyātva-kaṅkārcam śūdra-kanva-sabhāvajam. One who is hankering after service, he is śūdra. He has no capacity to live hmm. independently. The brāhmin, real brāhmin, he will starve. He will die out of starvation. He will never accept anyone's service. That is Brahman. Uncha vritti. If he has no income, he will go on the field and when the grains are taken away, some grains fall down, they will pick up all those grains and leave on that. Still will not go to anyone that I am hungry, give me something. No. Unchavit. So our education and why we are so independent? Because the education was very high. Vedic education. Satisfied with Brahma realization. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. Not very long ago, say about three hundred years ago. There was a Brahmin, very rigid Brahmin, in Krishnagar, near our Mahapur. And Brahmin's business, he was teaching. So the king of that place, I mean, his big Jamindra, Raja Krishna Chandra, by his name, that place is as Krishnagar. So he Heard about the Brahmin, very learned Brahmin, but very poor. So he one day came to him and asked him, Brahmin, can I help you anywhere? So he said, No, I don't require any help from you. No, I see you are so the poverty is taken, you have no sufficient means. No, I am not poverty is taken. Ah. My students, they get some arms of rice. So my wife boils the rice, and here is a tamarind tree. So I take some leaves and boil it. Oh, the subject. Why am I property speaking? He is satisfied. Whatever he is coming automatically, that's all. He doesn't require any higher standard of life, any botheration, he is satisfied. Little rice and tamarind juice, that's all. So in each and every home, formally, this independence was very much valued. So at the modern education, this independence is being killed. People are becoming unemployed, machine. Machine, high technologist means he must find out a job where technological machines are there, otherwise he will starve and he will have to go from factory to factory. Will you give me some service? No vacancy. 
Try as a list guys, pardon next to me.